Hey guys, Cool Blind Way back. I'm Rick. Aaron. I'm Calvin. We're back with Cowboy Bebop, the Netflix version. Yes. Last time on Venus Pop. Yeah. Venus. So pop, I guess pop. maybe the, all the episodes will be genres. Maybe. Or have genre in the name. Mm. Like the original one, eventually, or they started out as like real song names, and mm -hmm. then they changed. What was the one. first one? Cowboy. Uh, in this show. Uh, gospel. Cowboy gospel. Okay, so you're thinking of like pop. gospel, gospel, pop, pop. So it could be like rock, yeah, samba, uh, jazz, j yeah, okay, metal. Yeah, maybe they do that. Yeah, heavy the metal. Venus queen. pop made me think of Euro pop, which was by Eiffel 65. That's what I was like. They go Euro pop, pop. Eurovision. They only did one song. Uranus hair metal, right? Ha, fish eye. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hear the sake here on Mars is only good when it rains. Oh, oh gosh, did. he's gonna do the nose thing. Man, it's like super secret noodle code. No, yeah, it is. There's a message on that. Yep. Go to hell. Vicious nose. <laughs> so this is the usual way they trade information? Probably. Yeah. Stay in the city. I'll find you. Food truck guy. Cool glasses. 10,000 10, woolongs. Dang. Because I'm selling out everywhere. Man, average patch kid. I mean, do you think that 1.5 million woolongs is not that much? I swear this doll is mocking me. <laughs> Come and get me! <laughs> now I'm doomed to show up at Kimmy's birthday without the one thing she wanted. It's gonna be Jingle All the Way. Episode. <laughs> Turbo Man Doll! I could put my fist up your ass. True, and it would feel really good, but would it solve anything? <laughs> <laughs> this image is from a security camera, which means we need Woodcock. I'm praying that's a person. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good line. <laughs> You know, Jed and I go way back, and I mean way back. Used to call him the Black Dog. You want to know why? Oh, yes. God, yes. Please tell Look. <laughs> Dinner. Me, you, Guadalquiani. Two bottles of we're filling for the day. Sounds to me like blackmail. Damn right it is, because Jed, you are black and you are Man. Seriously, favorite person ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's staring at the camera like he wants to be seen. Jesus. You're right. Hmm. Wow. Say it again. <laughs> what? Say what you just said. What, that you're right? Yes. <laughs> uh, I was buddies with the guy who figured that out back in the days. What was his name? Um, Doc Holliday. Really? That was his name? His name was actually Doc Holliday? No, it was Bill something. But he figured out some bank thieves were using face changes to give us a slip. Why'd you call him Doc Holliday? I didn't. Some guys on the force did. Why did they? Oh, I know. Was he a doctor? What? No. There's gotta be a reason. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he liked vacation, Spike. The point oh my gosh. <laughs> Listen, if you would have started this conversation with Brothel, we would have saved ourselves a whole lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Betty's that's boop. Hey, that's where Rick was like, Betty's lost. boop. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Your face. You're that killer. Shit. Well, that's not good. But the strawberry milk. Benicio? Yeah, uh, that's right. The black market center. This guy that the deals in toys. Things, the man with the bag. You got the doll? <laughs> he likes going through his spiel. Well, I'm glad you don't consider extortion a violation of your parole. I hope it's a real one. I yeah, know. I know. I hope it's not fake. I would want mine. Met. We can do this the easy way or the fun way. <laughs> ah, <laughs> it is. Lost his gun. Lost his gun. I can't shoot him, so we gotta fight. Yeah, we gotta fight. Oh, 
Who's your plan? You ran up? I tried being reasonable. But I don't like it. <laughs> Fucking cowboy, huh? Porn. <laughs> it does just say porn. <laughs> I don't know who's reading that. <laughs> It's cool. Hey, it, no! it probably was real. What? God damn it. Ah, fuck. Well, shit. <laughs> A little shorter than I expected. <laughs> I love those. Uh, yeah. Cool. Oh. Oh, what? That was cool. I'm gonna just up on some roofs and then just add some fake buildings to the back. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's on fire now! Help! <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> Jesus, he's going so far. He's still going. <laughs> that's a long jump. Oh gosh, that's funny. He had to drop it. He's missing an arm. He's missing an arm. It was on fire. It was ran over. Got ran over. Falling into water. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> Smoking <laughs> after a good fight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that says the, the sen senshi, the thing, that, the, the sign. Yeah. The, the sushi dude. Guess they don't want him using the product, huh? I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Because then you could just squirt yourself in the eye and break yourself out. Yeah. Man, hey, someone just shoot me while I'm naked. Yeah, totally be okay to shoot you if you were dressed, though, right? Man, I want to be naked. Uh, I want the naked to catch him off guard. Dog star swing. Dog. Man, it's really late into the episode. Yeah. Isn't it? But it's all a drug business. I knew something fishy was going on here. <coughs> that beard. It's a great beard. But it's fake. <sighs> Got a dog. Only 10,000 wolves. Right. He doesn't have 10,000 wolves, does he? That's the last of their 45. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got 9,000. How much you got? Uh, I got seven. Owe me a grand. I'll pay you back. Not seven grand, seven wolves. <laughs> That's all you got? To your name? Made a few bad business decisions. And by a few, I mean you. <laughs> No, oh, he's probably got a regular girl. He's definitely got a regular girl. I mean, I do. I mean, I would. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me. Don't tell me to calm down, you fucking idiot, come. <laughs> if I could get away with it, I'd pull Chalmers into a dark alley and put my metal fist right through his smiley fucking face. They could go through the rest of his miserable life with a face that matches miserable sense of brotherhood. But I'm not bitter. <laughs> <laughs> what can I get for seven moves? A <laughs> stick of carrot. <laughs> Thanks. 
<laughs> oh, is this torture? You guys think I was getting hurt? I'm already late for my midnight bukkake, and I still have two only fat boys waiting to be tired like baby calves as well here. Um, I'm sorry, ma'am. Miss. Sir. Mistress. Please excuse my vanilla bean friend here. He's not properly <laughs> cultured. Mistress. The only place for a lap dance I offer him is a tie and tease. And see, Alabama and a quanta. But he never pays extra. He is a cheap bastard. Oh, mistress. We're going to go in for the Alabama act. <laughs> <laughs> Furiously writing. Okay. Write that down. Write that down. Oh, Uh -huh. <laughs> Surprise, you guys. This makes a fortune. It's yet more fun to buy a hunt. Yes. What you play in the cup would be Bob. <laughs> a hunt. A hunt. Yeah, I don't give a shit about motive and all, but right now, I'm short on time. Okay. Dog. Can't remember the last time I saw a real dog. <laughs> I think he wants us to follow. <laughs> you couldn't do it. Oh, we, what are you doing now? To them, they're like kids. Yeah, yeah. Children are like dogs. Dogs are like children. Look, Hakeem, I've got a toy store to get to. I mean, they're so adorable. They don't, they don't deserve to die. You're right, they don't. But I do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> My life's not worth living. Cody, look, it's worth plenty. 15 million woolongs to be exact. That's pretty good. Well, I mean, it's not our biggest haul ever. Spike. You're the biggest bounty that we've ever seen. <laughs> Huge. Huge. Huge, okay. Okay, that's a good deal. You guys, you guys get some kale, and I go away for the piece of shit that I am. We've got to do something about your self-esteem, okay? Yeah, I know. No! Who did that? Damn it, Ayn. They stole a bounty, which means you don't get your doll, which was the whole point of this carnival of fuck up. Spike, you. if you shut your face for 17 seconds, you'll see we're going to end up with something better than a doll. Hmm. What do you mean? It rhymes with doll. Happy birthday, here's a shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a walking Sally doll? No, sweetie. Something better. A shotgun! It's yeah. not a shotgun, that's a rifle. Oh. A rifle! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the fish place. Oh, that's not a shot. <laughs> he looks so happy. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, baby. His name is I. I love him so uh, much. And look what the other side said. You see, you got yourself a new set of wheels. Still hiding behind with all the gold glass. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Out of focus, there really look like him. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> the hair and the, yeah. the outfit, especially and at, a, at a low angle, it makes his legs look longer. We got our next uh, member of the Bebop crew. Sally. I. I. Kimmy. No. I. I was going through some shit when they, I thought that guy was gonna shoot the dogs, and he's like begging for it. Yeah. Like, I was just no, oh. and then it just cut to that one lady. Yeah. So I wonder if Ayn is just a regular dog? Yeah. Uh, or not. He was in like a special container. Container. Yeah. He was in a he was in a like a keypad locked <coughs> pet carrier. That he got out of on that, his phone. <laughs> that the correct code was punched in. True. <laughs> and you could see wires and shit on the back of the door when it was open. I suppose that's true. But he was like 
going into rich people's houses and stealing the dogs, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So Ayn would have been in just a rich guy's house. Yeah, he probably already in a pet well, go carrier. Back, go back to his he... collar. What is his collar? It was like CM, but it said something else too. Cur- uh, medical. Sherius Medical, yeah. Medical. Sherius Medical. Okay. So hmm. maybe a doctor owned him from a medical standpoint, mm-hmm. you know? Maybe. Or maybe he was a test pet. Cheerious. Or he's just a regular dog. Cheerious. He's cute. Medic. He's quite cute. All those dogs were cute. Why would the dog be any be weird? That's what I'm saying. He's yeah. a regular dog. It's just a medical dog. Maybe they did do some medical like, dog. Medical test on that. Yeah. It's the first thing I remember seeing about this series. Like they were announcing it or whatever, and it was just him like going through Netflix mm-hmm. Studios. Yep. Well, that's perfect casting. <laughs> Good job. I mean, it's hard to mess that up. <laughs> <laughs> now, vicious is. Very, very different. I can't I keep saying it, but he's definitely a. I, he has a like a very solid character now. I feel like, but it's way different. Yeah, he's yeah. like, like rich aristocrat kind In of a way. Yeah, guy. Which uh, yeah, very I'm, different. I need to look up the actors. I feel like in this one, I'm like, no, I've seen this guy in like a. He he's in a role. Where he had like a really high collar. Hmm. I, 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 this one I recognize his face more, but I can't tell you his name or where we're from. I feel like yeah, his personality is just very like stock villain in yeah. this so far. Agreed. With British accent and all. Yeah. Like, if I wasn't paying attention, I wouldn't even notice that he's supposed to have a sword. Sure. Well, yeah. you don't see it until he unbuttons. Well, he, he only had his one coat, so far, right? Well, he hasn't has bird either. Yeah. Uh, what Boyd? Bird. What Boyd? Is John Blackbird from the show? Alex Hassel is his name. <clears throat> I'm just trying to look to see where I've seen him before. He was translucent. He was translucent. I mean, you wouldn't really know he that easily. Know. Yeah. But he was translucent. <laughs> but no, he was. <laughs> Did translucent have a high collar in his super suit? I mean, no. his super suit was like... He nothing. was naked. <laughs> uh, he wasn't, was he? Maybe he was. His birthday suit, yeah. Because right? his skin had like a special thingy to it. But yeah, Vicious is who... So, from the boys, for anybody that doesn't remember. He's also in Legend of the Seeker, which Melanie mm-hmm. would like. She loved that show. Seeker. He's been in Hamlet. He's also in Torchwood. Was he in Torchwood? Yeah. Hamlet. I don't recognize the name. Hmm. Maybe it's... Uh, maybe I'm just thinking of the boys. Or I'm confusing him with someone else. <laughs> Could be. But yeah, uh, definitely... Very feels very different than the vicious that I know of, but I'm not saying it's bad. It's just a way different take. But I did Wood- like uh, how different Woodcock is in this. <laughs> I really enjoyed her character. Here. That scene was amazing, man. Like Spike, she just took over the show. <laughs> she did, but I love how much Spike was having so much fun. That You're my favorite expensive. person ever. <laughs> I hope that's a person. <laughs> oh, so good. A lot of good stuff. I mean, even having Jet have a daughter in this. I felt like the whole situation of getting the doll and all that stuff felt like a cowboy bebop scene. Yeah. Just that I'd never seen before. Yeah, he was... It was a lot of fun. When he was in Torchwood, he created the Weevil Fight Club. Gotcha. That sounds familiar at all. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't... I love... I, I, I agree. I love the scene of Woodcock and stuff a lot. Yeah. Like, just... It wasn't even so much Woodcock, but... The way Spike responded to the thing she was saying. Sure. Yeah, it wouldn't have been really nearly enjoyed. as funny if it were just Jet. Like, Let's... yeah. Like, I enjoyed her interaction with Jet, but because of Spike adding into it, it just made it so much better. Yeah, <laughs> no, I think she was perfect for, like, what she was supposed to be. Yeah. She I did a really good job. Mm-hmm. I don't remember even if he was named Woodcock, but uh, the guy from the show that they get the information from is kind of like a doctor. He kind of reminded me of uh, Dr. Light a little bit. But he was a little more gruff sounding, mm-hmm. so it was a completely different character. If it's the same, I love the. Uh, uh, I forget what exactly he said. He's like, "We need Woodcock." I'm like, I hope that's a person. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a lot of the lines in this, especially from Spike. I really enjoyed. That were fun. Yeah, I mean, Spike's like fixation on why that guy's called Doc Holliday. Yeah, yeah, I love that. that, I love that. that whole so scene. good. Why does that? There's got to be a reason. It's like we were able to get character information about, like, you know. It's interesting that he's focuses on those things, but we're getting inform- just regular information. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if it's based on, like, why, like, I don't imagine his real name yeah. was Fearless. Right? Yeah. No. no. Yeah. But it's a nickname. Yeah. Why did he get that nickname? So, like, maybe this guy having Doc Holliday is like, well, why did they call him Doc Holliday? Like, that's kind of maybe the process he's going through is, yeah. like, 
like that kind of thing, right? Well, and uh, they reference like Jet being the black dog here, and like Spike was very excited to, like, oh yes, please tell me why. <laughs> <laughs> why is he called that? Eric, did you just grab your phone for the same reason I just grabbed my phone? Um, I don't know. Are you typing in a state? <laughs> I was typing a snake. <laughs> a state? I was putting in Alabama anaconda to see if it was a thing. Anaconda's a thing. But I don't see an Alabama anaconda. Yeah. I mean, we're Maybe in the future. It's, it's a future thing. Yeah, so it's like a variation that hasn't been invented yet, I guess. Yeah. It's like a Chicago sunroof. <laughs> but the eastern indigo snake is the largest snake in Alabama. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I just see an anaconda sex act. So Jet... Knows that Chalmers <laughs> set him oh up. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I was reading <laughs> with the anaconda. Did you read what the anaconda was there? Yep, I was letting it go. You were letting it go? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta understand. You gotta know. I wonder what the Alabama version of that is. Maybe. It's probably brother and sister. What? Uh, Rick, you were in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> yes. Uh, so Jet knows that Chalmers set him up in yes, this. Yes, mm-hmm. he does. And it's like he said he lost five years of his life. Uh-huh. So I wonder what that is. Because something happens in the anime mm-hmm. that I, I'm wondering how it's different. He lost five years of his life. Did he go to prison? I don't know. <laughs> That's what they said. I don't want to say too much. Well, they didn't sure. say that he went to prison, right? They no, just, they lost said he lost five years. Lost five life, years. Like, whatever that means. I don't think he like, a lot of times it's usually like someone went to prison. I think it was frozen, hospitalized, maybe. I mean, that could be too, like so a coma. Why did he lose his arm? You know, maybe they go that way and talk yeah. about it more so, or I don't know. It was strange just seeing a house, like obviously filmed on the yeah. street. That's what like, the first time. Yeah. Like, this looks like a normal house. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't look different or anything. No, it's just like, well, I had you know plants in the sky. It's a dog tax. There is a dog tax. Yeah. And they're it's rare. A steep dog tax. Alexa does too. not want to pay it. Which in the anime, I don't think they were especially rare. Like, she was, uh, there was a lady who owned a pet store, and she was going to pay, like, 100 wulongs mm-hmm. for iron or whatever. So no, it's just a thing here where it's, they're really rare, and you get tax. Um, we know where the bean password comes from now. Yeah. So. So it was Jet. It was well, oh. Jet made the password. I don't know if you made the password. Spike note. might have written it down. It might be like, like Jet will remember the password. It'd be very strange if Jet sure. forgot that. But Spike will <laughs> be like, man, I don't know what the hell the password What was the password? Password Bean. Okay, I'll remember now. <laughs> I loved uh, Benicio, the guy. The, the toy smuggler the or whatever? Toy, the black market toy smuggler guy. That guy, he's I on parole. <laughs> it's just, it's loose, you know. It yeah. shouldn't be worth that much. The episode, the episode was just very fun Stop. with like things like that. Yeah. I like during the fight when they're doing things, Fights. whatever, and Spike's like, oh. nice. On the rooftop? <laughs> you know, like stuff yeah. like that. Really I thought that was, was fun. great. When he uh, lit the cigarette upside down, that was great. There's In between so the boobies? Yeah. <laughs> I love what the, are you doing? I love the sound design of the hollow pipe being used as a... <laughs> it had that like when you blow on a bottle yeah. kind of sound. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sure, because like a bamboo like staff would mm-hmm. sound different because it's not mm-hmm. hollow, like with like the tips and stuff. And the fight here was much different than the one they have in the anime, but they started at the same with like yeah. the same stances. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I appreciated that. Yeah. The fight was really good here, though. Yeah, I enjoyed the fight with the in the scaffolding and stuff, like crossing the arms and locking, and turning around, and yeah. kicking and stuff. We got some more uh, uh, world building, or not more, but world building in here, talking about the Earth Gate. Mm-hmm. Blowing, sure. blowing. So I explosion. remember those things from the the anime, but they talk about it blowing up. But then they also mentioned about like, and here like they put the dogs in the escape pod and let people and let like, their, yeah die or mm-hmm. stay behind or whatever. Yeah, and the know? rich people got out and yeah, and brought their dogs else. and stuff. Mm-hmm. So that makes sense of being like angry then, like I had family or friends or whatever that didn't get out. Well, and he's you know scarred. Sure. And stuff. I, now I don't know if that's like a, you know like. Here's an escape pod. My dog's going in it. Or if it's more of like, well, I'm in my escape pod. My dog's going with me. But you could have had room for a person instead of a dog. Yeah. Maybe, you know. Like I don't, I don't know. know which way. It's it probably goes, similar but. to like Expanse, where the rich people on that island had like a shuttle. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe it might not be like that at all. It might be more like uh, the government has escape pods and everyone goes, but the rich people got priority and yeah, they can only fit yeah. so many. And they're like, well, I'm taking my dog with me. Like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And then people had to stay behind too. Like it could have been like a. Like a class uh, an evacuation thing. Yeah. kind of thing that they did too, and then the rich got priority. It's like uh, 
what's that movie like 2012 where like the world's ending but like a bunch of rich people have like Mm-hmm. special lifeboat things yep. they're going to use to try to stay alive but like all the poor people just get to die <laughs> you know it's like that kind of thing yep yeah, Elon Musk is doing that's why he's making his <laughs> those, yeah, the space shit he's going to make a space station that all the rich people get to go to I said the last episode but no Faye again uh-huh. so I'm confused as to why they introduced her in the first one Instead of having the awesome introduction that she has later on, stop fixating on that. <laughs> I guess not. You you have to. You wait and see what they do later, and then you can complain about it once they've done and you've seen what they've done. Sure. <laughs> you wait. <laughs> <laughs> I get you though. Like it is. There can be a confusion of like why they introduce her and not use her, but yeah, maybe there's more reasons. But they literally do that. How many, in Cowboy Bebop. How many hundreds of shows do they, we watch? She though? literally shows up, and then you don't see her for like another episode or two, right? No. I remember her not being there with them. Like she's not there in the first couple. Yeah. You get introduced to her, and yeah. then she leaves. Yeah. But she appears in the next episode. Still. Uh, I mean, I'm, I have to take your word for it because I don't remember. But I, I feel like I remember her showing up and being absent. No. Yeah. But I mean, I, I get what you mean in, in direct comparison, but just as a television show writing style. It, it's not shocking to me to have a character introduced and then we see them again later. Episodes yeah. later. And it's also, only been two episodes. Mm-hmm. Also, I think a lot of the trailer stuff covered things from the first episode. It did. And having her in there so you can say, hey, she's going to be here and stuff. And you're also not spoiling a whole bunch of whatever the show's going to have coming too. I like when a lot of trailers for like, especially like a season of a show, yeah. are in the first like episode, maybe two. Yeah. That way you're not being spoiled on a whole and bunch of... to be of fair, stuff. we didn't watch the... That last trailer, not the last sure, one. We watched that one. There was like, anything in there? It's not Teaser so much that she's not in the episodes. It's more just the lackluster introduction that she had. Mm-hmm. I feel like is more of my issue. I would consider like having watched the original show. I can kind of agree, but I, I think if I didn't, I would probably be loving this even more than I am. Honestly, sure. I don't remember what her introduction was in the anime. So I guess I don't. I'm not comparing it necessarily. Like her, like being there and the real reveal happening. Like when I said like a bird with purple hair, I'm like, oh, okay, I think I know who they're talking about. You know? Yeah. But uh, like the gun behind, and then she like goes toe to toe with. She had uh, a cool fight with Spike and stuff. I like the choreography in that one too. Where yeah. just like constantly reaching for the crotch. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and she's also like him. ahead of what Spike yeah. knows. Like Spike, Spike and Jet are just after the dude. Whereas Faye's like she already knows like this is mm-hmm. this rich guy's daughter and I'm yeah. bringing her back worth a lot of money, and Spike's like what? <laughs> it's like so I don't know. There's some comparisons there maybe, but maybe we just see what they do with it and maybe she'll have a really cool like aha she's back and I don't know what that happened. But I did like the uh, the old man food truck like I'll, f- I'll find you in the city you know sure it makes sense why Spike wanted to stay here and keep working the case because he needed to wait for that information yeah. But yeah, the whole sniper scene and all that stuff. He said like the package is on like Silo Three or something, so he just got him a that gun, I suppose. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. that's not Jet's yeah. gun. No, and he left it there, and he didn't pay anything for it or anything either, because he only had seven Wulongs. Mm-hmm. So like, I'm assuming Anna took care of that. It's not him. I'm hoping it can't be tracked to where because Vicious at the end was like he's on the silo, mm-hmm. so they're gonna go there. They're gonna find the gun that he yeah. left there now. Yeah, as long as they can't track it back. That'd be good. I kind of like the, the things they talk about where it's like you can't blame the water for being wet and different things. There's also yeah. like a brother thing. Brother. And also like what Jet said, like would you put a bullet in his head? Mm-hmm. He's like, no, I'd let him live like this, whatever, but I'm not bitter. Like I like that whole little conversation. So I feel like that's Spike's mindset's going through like, do I kill him? Do I not? There's a brotherly thing there with him too and Jet and Chal- Chalmers. Is that his name? Chalmers. <laughs> they have like a brotherly thing going on too. So I think he's like, do I kill him? Do I not? But he gives him like a warning shot, and it still kind of hits him. And he's yeah, scarred. So. Just a reminder. I love because of of how the story goes. You can just have a completely different actor do all the stunts, the the stunt fight for that that guy, and that was really cool, as well. I, sure. And I loved the uh, the the big flip. Spike's just like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny too. Yeah, nice. And then we did have uh, vicious killing the uh, the red eye makers too, which was tough and hard to watch. I didn't like seeing that. Yeah, but yeah. It, it, I I agree. The whole like, you know, sets them up for a hotel, a nice place, until we're ready to operations. Like, you really want me to do that? No. <laughs> like, it does come across as like aristocratic, yeah. hokey. Not, yeah. I don't know. Not. I remember being like scared of vicious presence. And here, 
Sometimes like, I don't know if I should be like. Eh, eh. Seems a bit more comedic. Yeah, I get you. No, I, I don't know. I need to see more of Faye, but I kind of liked what they did with Faye in a different way, but liked it. This is a different way of vicious. Side. I'm not quite liking it yet, but we'll see. I'm open to it though. And uh, it was just in the subtitles, but Lynn was driving him. Lynn, okay. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning of the episode, you said that you wanted to talk about Grim? Uh, Grin? Grin. 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 Yeah. Who, it was in the, the last episode. I'm curious to see if they do anything with him. He's a major character in the show. He was just kind of a cameo. Which one was Grin? He was the guy in the red suit? Uh, he, he was the guy that led that older couple in and sat them down, talking oh, about the, okay, the late, okay. late, or the early show. Uh, yeah. Get the second bottle and stay till daylight. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. he played the saxophone mm-hmm. in the anime, mm-hmm. if you mm-hmm. remember. I remember that. I imagine so. But we'll see him again. Well, we just keep seeing Anna and stuff. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> the girl came over and talked to Anna. and mm-hmm. So there's definitely no love for Vicious from, like, her. So. Yeah. And who gave Spike that rifle? Anna. Yeah, Anna. I mean, that's... Yeah. I, I think that might be why. Sense. She's like, if I could gouge his eyes out, I would. If it was yeah, any, if other, was man, any other man, you know? Yeah, yeah. But... Hey, maybe Spike will kill him. Sure, I'll give you a gun. Here you go. <laughs> he had the chance to. He didn't mm-hmm. do it. Although, you know, that window could have not been bulletproof. Like, it he didn't know have. for sure. Yeah. He's like, are you still hiding behind bulletproof glass? <laughs> so at least he knew, like, there's there's a likely chance that you are. So this will remind you. Yeah. I think it was, I think it was a mixture there where, like, maybe, yeah, sure, he didn't know. So... He gave Vicious some chances, talked to him. Mm-hmm. Vicious said what he said. And he's like, all right, I'm going to shoot. Either this is going to give him a warning shot and be like, look, you're not untouchable. Yeah. I can get to you if I want to. Or B, he's going to be dead and he won't be a problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, chose, he chose to wait to shoot him until he's in the car, right? Yeah. But he was like, I'm untouchable. Yeah. And then, like, there's your warning shot of, like, you're not. I could have killed you any time from when I called you to now. Mm-hmm. In fact, before I called you. Yeah. I also really appreciated the work put into the shot where Spike is zooming in with his scope more and more and more. The the third the the widest one is like they had to do a lot. There's a lot of visual effects in this shot. We go in, there's a little bit less, and then here's a spot. We go in, no visual effects. It's a warehouse. Yeah. That sure. Obviously, they could just film anywhere. I thought that was really cool. I also like the transition they did there too because mm-hmm. they brought in the box for the present. Yeah. And then when they opened it, yeah. when it opened, it cut to being the package of his gun Mm -hmm. and then as he was doing his transitions and it zoomed in zoomed in zoomed in the last like zoom in transition because it always did one of those like slide things across was the present being removed and getting eyed so like there was a fun transition way between those two things though I did have a a squid games moment when the present for your daughter was open as a gun shit (laughs) that didn't happen (laughs) oh it was like it's a shotgun because that's what was sitting there yeah and then they open it as a gun like it's a shotgun (laughs) Spike seems to like dogs in this one. I mean, does he? Or at least he doesn't despise. I guess we'll see more next episode. I, I, yeah, maybe we will. He seemed I, more like curious and apprehensive about the dog than. Why would you kill the dog? It's just a dog. <laughs> I do always like in, in settings like this that are very different from our own, where the when a when characters need to say that hey this weird thing as opposed to all the other weird things is out of the ordinary for us they have to be very perplexed mm-hmm. you know is that a dog and you're thinking like why is it crazy to see a dog well it's really rare so that's why they're so perplexed sure so, Just but you have to like choose your moments and a director has to be like remember you're telling the audience that this is weird not just there's other weird things because most of the time you see a weird thing and characters are just like yep that's how it is in this yeah. world yeah you're talking about perplexed I love the guy in the van whenever <laughs> he's like huh. yeah like was he like I swore I had a dog in here <laughs> I don't know like, what was he thinking I don't yeah. know. I'm not sure there and uh, the real folk blues randomly in the end credits this time yep maybe, well, maybe, I, maybe I wonder maybe, why maybe it means something maybe hmm. I mean the very last thing we had was like a vicious and uh Spike kind of thing, right? Yeah. Like him walking away and whatnot. Maybe it's kind of going to be some kind of theme between those two or something. Maybe. Like, I don't know, like, if they'll use all the music the exact same way they use it in the anime. So maybe they kind of, like, repurpose some of it or place it different places, or maybe they're not. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out next week. Space Cowboy. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on a new episode of Cowboy Bebop. We'll have another one right here on YouTube next week. Uh, But if you are watching this on YouTube... 
There's also some more available, early access available over at patreon.com slash mindwave. You can check some more out there right now as well. It's got salt in it. 